everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're fantastically well. So if you're new here, my name is Jason. I'm a full-time prop trader, as well as keep an eye on all of the news what's going on in the prop firm space. I had an announcement on Instagram just yesterday saying that the prop trading is coming soon. Now, if you're unaware of what the prop trading are, they are a prop firm based out of Australia who launched in, I believe, about March, April 2020. And they were real disruptors in the industry, came out really hard and aggressive with the pricing and some of the challenge options they had available at the time. They certainly had a few struggles along the way. And one of the rules that people really hated was not being able to trade oil, as well as if you did get funded with them, you had a lot size restriction for the first three months. But if you go over that, they did actually do regular payouts. They had no issue whatsoever. And they were growing to one of the largest prop firms at the time. Then in December 2022, they issued a statement saying they had a letter from the Australian Securities Commission and that they had to cease all operations immediately, which is a bit strange because I spoke to some people in Australia at the time and they hadn't actually heard of this. Or they couldn't find any record of it. Was it just a stunt to be able to close down the business and not pay out traders? At the time, there was claimed they were going to go through all the legal process, work with the Australian commissions to get everything back up and running. But we are 18 months down the line and they're now saying they're coming back soon. It's a bit strange this one for me, so I thought I'd just sort of give an overview of what my thoughts on this might be. Now we've seen in the past year, lots of prop firms go bust from the biggest to some of the lesser well known ones out there. And it's always that risk if you are going with a prop firm and you are relying on payouts and they do go bust, you don't get anything back. We've seen recently with the Funded Trader Program, they've actually relaunched with a, a buyout process. And it could be the same where this is the same situation where somebody's buying out the domain name, the naming rights, etc., and being able to take on with the existing almost client pool where you can start to email out, go through Instagram, and really start to promote and publish this new, effectively, a relaunch of a prop firm. But as we know, trust is the most critical factor when deciding to go to the prop firm. And if there's that doubt, if they're unable to lay this to bed by saying, okay, we've been in discussions with Australian commissions for the past 18 months, we're now able to come out of this legal situation, we have now paid off all of our traders, and we're back working and improving the whole process to get bigger and better, then yes, you can understand if they've actually made that statement, but they haven't. There's nothing coming out whatsoever. And at the time as well, when they actually literally closed down everything, there was no response from any of the management team, etc. It literally went quiet and yeah, it was just a real suspicious end to this particular prop firm. So with my real skeptical hat on, I'm gonna say that this will not take off to the levels they have done before. It might be that people reminisce about the good old days and able to sign up and go through the whole process, but it's gonna be difficult. It's really, really difficult for any prop firm at the moment to launch in the market. It's really difficult to get new customers, especially if you start looking at any of the Trustpilot reviews or any reviews out there on any of the Telegram groups or any Discord channels. People are going to be bombarding everything and saying, remember what happened in December 2022, it could happen again, etc. So I would just say, if you are looking to go with the prop trading, just be very cautious, wait and see what's going to happen, what news they can come out with, what evidence they can prove that they have either paid off traders or sorted out their issues with the Australian Security Commission, and then see how they can actually relaunch. On their Instagram, they are actually saying they're using uh, Match Trader as well as DX Trade, etc. So again, they've moved away from MetaTrader. So it sounds like they've done a lot of background work to be able to get up to a state where they can actually start relaunching. But again, that's what every prop firm has done. And it's the same across the entire industry. Everyone's moving away from MetaTrader because of the issues we've seen in the US, as well as some of the technology we've been pulled from a lot of the prop firms. But it's definitely going to be interesting. I will keep an eye on this one. And if there are any developments, I will let you all know what the latest is. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along to make sure you get all the latest updates on what's going on in the prop firm space. Thanks for watching. Catch you again very soon. Cheers.